Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, official trainer of I Love Lacrosse TV. I'm really excited today. I, I, I'm going to show you one of my best um, inventions or best discoveries, really, that will help teach proper technique when shooting. This, I'm going to teach you guys how to instantly add 10 miles per hour onto your shot speed, let alone your, your accuracy, your st overall stick skills will go through the roof. Um, so I'm just going to explain how I came upon it and then what it is. And the good news is you're going to not even need a lacrosse stick and ball. So as coaches and players, some of the more common problems that you hear coaches yell about are, you know, um, alligator arms, you know, get your hands out. We see kids with their hands in here. They do the lever, right? Instead of, you know, they're throwing with their arms and pulling it. Instead of, you know, it's a rotational sport, like, right? Like baseball, like swinging a bat, right? Like pitching, golf. Right? It's rotational. It's not like this. What else do we do? We tend to fall forward like this with our leg bent. The hands are close and they rotate and can't get the ball around. I'm shooting there and I hook and try to shoot that way and don't realize we aim with our front hip. Right? So if you watch the really good shooters in college, the best shooters, the Ryan Browns, Paul Rabels of the world, the most important thing, the Thompson brothers, is creating force through the ground with your lead foot. That's a developmental issue, right? So a nine-year-old is not going to know how to do that or, or doesn't, ha, doesn't possess the strength to be able to do that. So what I discovered is a lacrosse ball and stick weighs two pounds. So if we use a four-pound med ball, instead, one, it's going to get them stronger in the right spots, right? So most of those issues we just described is because they're la lacking strength from their knees to their shoulders. More, most specifically, in their hands, and the back of their body, hamstrings, butt, upper back, right? So by using the med ball, it, now, if you don't have any strength, you're not gonna be able to do it right. But you'll see how I slowly progress it. We're teaching them slowly how to create force through the ground. So um, listen, I have a ton of research on this. I, I've documented everything. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. And you guys will all see results. I'm glad to really share it with you. If you have any questions, you could email me. Call me, you could instant message me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. But I think this is really important and I hope you enjoy the video. All right guys, so this is called med ball out hold. This is the first progression on our med ball progression exercise. And as you watch, the thing that this is fixing is most kids don't learn how to shift their weight from the back to the front. So we're working on the first step. Just keep that in mind. You know, the most important part of the shot is the lead foot, because we're transferring all our energy through the ground. So ready? You want to hold for anywhere to three to five seconds. And you can see how I'm driving my foot in the ground and it keeps my weight back. So my back shoulder and back hip are even after the first step. It's med ball out and hold. All right, guys, so this exercise is the med ball out, hold, and fire. So now after we, we master that first step of our shot, now we're learning how to transfer our energy from the back leg to the front leg and get maximal power um, and athleticism. A good analogy is you pretend there's a big piece of glass six foot high here, and when you finish, you do not want to break the glass with your body. That, that'll tell you if you're driving this leg into the ground hard enough. Med ball out, hold, and fire. Okay, guys, this exercise is called med ball lateral extensive toss, and what this is going to be helping you guys with, it's a ro lacrosse a rotational sport like golf, tennis, baseball, so batting and pitching. We want our, our, our shoulders and our hips rotate in opposite directions. So when we finish, our hips and shoulders should be facing the target. When we start, our non-throwing hip and shoulder is facing the target. A lot of kids are not able to do that for you know, age reasons, you know, maturity reasons, uh, motor skills, strength, so this really helps. Um, again, it's called med ball lateral toss extensive. I'm going to get my feet as wide as they would be after the first shot, after the first step when I'm taking the shot. I 
load the back leg. Again, my, I'm just doing an underhand toss. Um, you could do a shot put, but underhand toss is easy because I, we're not really focusing on our hands. We want to focus on that back hip. Notice how I'm violently throwing my back hip and my hands at the wall behind me. Have them aim a little high up on the wall so it really forces them to drive through the ground. That's med, med ball, lateral toss, extensive. Okay guys, this exercise is just called med ball, lacrosse throw. Now we're putting everything together and doing it all at once, okay? It's like a time and room shot. So this was the hole, then we did, oh yeah, I'll do it again. Ready? Okay guys, so this exercise is called med ball lacrosse throw. Now we're putting everything together um, that we've learned so far. So this is like a time and room shot. See how, I lean? See how I fell back a little bit? It's gonna happen. We wanna focus on throwing our energy at the target. And that's med ball lacrosse throw. Now this next exercise is called med ball lacrosse throw from right and left hash. So now that we've kind of done the soft toss as we're moving, now we're gonna go back to our original lacrosse throw, but we're practicing it from the right or left hash. So a big problem I see a lot is that, you know, we're, we aim when we shoot with our lead foot. But what a lot of kids tend to do is to open up. So this is really showing us how to still lead with that front hip and, and keep that front shoulder closed. So just, I'll just get into it, it's easier to watch. As you can see, I'm aiming for the four. And watch my front hip. It's moving towards the four, which is the target. That's our med ball across row from the right or left hash. Okay guys, this exercise is called med ball soft toss with one step lacrosse throw. So I'll just do it first, it's easier. We're mimicking a time and room shot where we're catching the pass. A lot of kids have trouble getting their hands up, right? So it's real important when we catch, you want to catch the ball up here. And notice now, once I catch it, first thing I'm thinking about is getting that lead foot down. And that's med ball soft toss with one step lacrosse throw. Okay guys, so this exercise is called our, our med ball crow hop lacrosse throw. Now we're getting closer to mimicking, being able to shoot on the run and control our body by driving our legs through the turf. So let me just show you crow hop. You're gonna start out. Notice how I'm moving in a straight line. My front hip is constantly moving towards the target, which is right between the three and the four. And I'm driving that leg down and finishing and trying not to break the glass when I finish. I lean forward a little bit there which tells me that I need to drive that front leg through the ground more. That's our med ball, crow hop, lacrosse throw. Okay guys, this is called our med ball, soft toss, crow hop, lacrosse throw. So now we're gonna be moving towards the target, like a time and room shot, where we're catching it as we're moving towards the ball, stepping and shooting. Again, I want to try to catch the ball, it's the med ball at its highest point. And drive that lead foot through the ground. If you notice, a few times uh, my heel's off the ground, I'm on my toe. We do not want that. So that would be wrong. Try to keep that heel down.
That is our med ball, soft toss, crow hop, and cross throw. Okay guys, uh, this exercise is called med ball, turn and shoot, lacrosse throw. So just like sports are dynamic, we're moving in different directions. We want to get used to being able to control our body and still get into that perfect shooting form. So let me just get into it. I'm going to be aiming at the four. Good athletic position. Drop step. And that's our med ball turn and shoot lacrosse throw. Okay guys, this exercise is called our med ball speed skater lacrosse throw. So I'll just get into it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna be aiming at the four. Great, because this is gonna force us to really get that lead put down. And if you try not to break the glass, you'll know you're doing it right. See how far, you can probably hear it, how hard I gotta drive my foot down. If you do it too loosey-goosey, you're gonna fall forward. Right, and like, like I say, if there's a piece of glass here, you don't want to break it with your body. So start close to the wall. Try that again. That's our med ball speed skater on the cross throw. Okay guys, now we're going to get into an exercise called partner sprint to half lacrosse throw. So this is with the med balls. I'm going to get into it, but what you'll see is what this is really teaching us is in the course of an offense on the field, we need to get to a spot, get to where the ball's gonna be, watch how I catch it, and my, my body's moving through the ball, and I'm able to plant that lead foot. So this is working into shooting on the run. I think it's very difficult for people to plant that lead foot on the run while they're moving. So here we go. Ready to move on. Go. Get to the area and the ball will be there. Go. And that's it. That's simple. You just need a partner and a med ball. And that is our uh, partner sprint to hash lacrosse throw. I hope you guys liked our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout that will help you add 10 miles per hour to your shot, just click here or click the link in the description, enter in your email, and I will send it directly to your email. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, or leave a comment. Until next time, keep working.